Seven foster homes since I was two, and none of them, not one of them, was without a roach. It's like they get what it's like to be at the bottom of the barrel where folks don't give two fucks about you. But they don't care. They crawl through the cracks, get in your food, and never die as much as you try to kill them. Because when it all boils down to it, everybody got to get theirs, no matter what fucked up way they go about getting it. Corey, get your sorry ass, a boy. That bus will be here in a minute. That's Gail, foster mother number seven. I know seven's supposed to be a lucky number and all. That shit don't apply to me. Actually, luck is a thing that never happens for me. Just take the day, for instance. A few weeks back, got caught still in the footlocker. Instead of going back to juvie, they making me do this stupid ass program where I gotta spend time with felons who done got too old for jail. Bullshit if you ask me. I mean, what's some ancient jailhouse nigga gonna teach me? If he was so smart, his ass wouldn't be in the pen in the first place. Bullshit, man. We're very enthusiastic about this program and hope that it will give you all a new perspective on things to help you turn it all around. First, we're gonna start off with a meet and greet between you and your inmate. After that, you'll be dismissed until tomorrow. Do we have any questions? Yes. Uh, how, how long do we have to come here? Till I feel you're fit to exit the program, you will remain a member. Oh. However, if you do not feel a need to cooperate, you'll be given a new court date. And the judge is very likely to send you straight to jail. Gee. Oh, no, I ain't going back to jail. We anticipate you're going to do your best to complete the program without any incidents. OK. <laughs> We're going to take a quick 10-minute break, and we'll meet right back here to begin. Uh, yeah, I told you, baby. Give me my money, man. Give me my money, let me get paid, baby. Hey, watch out. Thanks, man. No problem. Fucking soda machines always taking people's money. I'm Luke, by the way. Corey. So you wanna sit with us? Yeah, okay. Hey guys, this is Corey. That's Mo and that's Hector. Hey, man. How you doing? What, what, what you in for, Corey? Uh, shit, I saw these kicks. I like the Foot Locker. Never got around to paying for them, though. <laughs> <laughs> what about y'all? Oh, <laughs> selling that green goblin. <laughs> <laughs> that my sister's boyfriend? Yeah. Armed robbery. Fool, that wasn't no armed robbery. Th this nigga, th this nigga robbed a grocery store with a Goddamn water gun. <laughs> it looked real. <laughs> okay, guys, break's over. If we can get everyone to dispose of their snacks, we can get started. Yeah, see, that's why you gotta be careful who your friends are, baby boy. Because you don't want to do an 18-year bid for driving a getaway car from a robbery that you weren't even in on. Then find out you got a bad heart when you got a year left. Hell, if I had better friends, I might have gone to college, played football or something, instead of being in here, in jail. Fighting to keep my manhood. I used to be just like you, kid. Cocky. Thought I was untouchable. Cops could kiss my ass for all I cared. Hell, I had half of them on payroll. That was until the feds busted me for importing AK-47s. Gave me life for every kid killed with an AK that year. Ten life sentences. And then here's the kicker. A couple of months ago, got diagnosed with brain cancer. So where'd you get the guns? Cocaine. Okay. I was a hit of the drug cartel. I got busted with 500 kilos of cocaine. Damn. So you was like the Mexican Al Capone. See? The incarcerated handicap virtue. You know how to talk, boy. Yeah.
you in for me? <laughs> Seem like that's a better question for you. What you in for, man? I got caught stealing these kicks. Why is that? Mama couldn't afford the new Jordans. I guess not since she did. She died from AIDS a year after she had me. I ain't get it though. Your pops? Murdered six months later by his best friend over a crack pipe. Damn. Guess you mad at the world, huh? I was five years old when my mama first walked out on my pops. Took all the kids except for me. Said I looked too much like him. Was 15 when I took my first hit of Aaron. And 20 years old when I walked in on my old lady fucking some other nigga. Shot and killed. That was 45 years ago. Cancer didn't got into my lungs now. So, guess I ain't got much more time to do. See, we all got us a past that'll follow us to our grave. I let my past fuck up my future. That's why I hate little niggas like you. Still got a chance. But too busy running around here playing gangster to see it. All right, fellas, that's time. What up, Holmes? You all here turning your tricks or what? Oh. What's up, y'all? What's up, my dude? <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm not that bad of a driver. I don't have it. What the fuck ever, man? This guy runs over shit like every day. Damn. Last week, he backed into my grandma's house. <laughs> Damn, Lou. Yo, this is a nice ride, man. Where you get this? Uh, it's uh, my stepdad's car. <laughs> hey, let me borrow it to go to the store. Oh shit! I almost forgot. I got that green goblin. <laughs> yeah, mama's boy back there grows the best weed in the county. Shut the, shut the fuck up, Luke. You just mad you ain't got no mama. I had your mama last night, and I mean all 300 pounds of her. Oh. Fuck, fuck you, Luke. F fuck you, Mo. Oh, no, I'm a. Uh... I don't smoke. Why not? You were born again or something? Hell nah. It's just, you know, I, I tried it before and I ain't like it. it. Sounds like we have another mama's boy on our hands. Whatever. My foster mom could give two shits about me. All I am to her is another check. Yeah, I know what you mean. <coughs> oh shit. Fucking cops. <coughs> what? Charge this motherfucking loop. Man, what the hell are you doing? No, I, got, I got two strikes, man. I'm done if they catch me in this car. Done? I thought you said this was your uncle's car. No, I lied. I lied. Damn, man. Hurry up, Lou. We, we losing. Hey, watch the homeless guy. Shit! <laughs> Cool, man? Hector. <laughs> Mo! Mo! Hey, can you hear me, man? Mo! Mo! Oh, shit. <coughs> tell me. Tell my 
my mama. I'm sorry. Come on, man. Just hold on, man. Just hold on, all right? Mo. 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 Running away, all I could think about was why didn't I die? How could Hector, Mo, and Luke die right in front of me? And I walk away without one fucking scratch. Heard what happened to you and your little friends. When my friends. Guess you just be going around getting in a fatal car accident with just anybody, huh? No, what the fuck are you, man? This program, man. Don't run away from me, boy. That they gonna keep passing you by. It's gonna keep with you until they take you. Look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. Son, if he wanted your ass, he'd have your ass. God spared your life for a reason, and it wasn't for you to keep running around here acting like a goddamn criminal. Your mama ain't coming back, boy. Your daddy ain't coming back, and your little friends they ain't coming back either. But you, you got a chance, man. You can keep on trying God's patience if you want to, but I think you want to do better. That was the last time I ever spoke to Floyd. By the next week, the cancer spread into his throat and he couldn't talk no more. We wrote letters back and forth until he died three months later. I can honestly say that if it wasn't for Floyd, I don't know where I'd be right now. Before he died, he told me about this work program, job trade. So I signed up, finished my GED. Now I'm trying to be on that entrepreneur shit and design my own kicks. You know, Floyd was right. God spared my life so I could redeem myself from all the bad shit that happened to me. And thanks to him, I think things gonna be all right. grand scheme of things, you know, Corey is a fighter. My character is, is a fighter. It points to the idea that there is hope for anybody. You can, if you, if you set your sight on a goal, you can achieve it. Just kind of talking about second chances, thinking, thinking about your life, and, and that's something that we as young people need to do, think about our lives, don't throw it away, don't waste it. It's about choices. You don't want to be held responsible for a decision you make at 10 years old. You wouldn't want to be held responsible or made to keep that decision when you're 20.